Most guides on YouTube are outdated, so I'll be teaching you what still works and a new method. Doing cargo is still good thanks to a recent buff, but there's a new galleon's method that's less risky and more consistent. The new method is killing the guards at Fort Talos. I know that sounds odd, but hear me out. You won't be farming inside the fort like you did in the storyline. Instead, you'll be farming the guard NPCs above. With this method, you're constantly getting around 15 galleons pretty much every four seconds. Seconds. For reference, the highest cargo selling price is only 99 galleons, compared to 8 to 20 galleons per guard NPC kill with this method. Because of how many NPCs there are, you'd get more galleons than from a single cargo in 15 to 20 seconds. Let that sink in! Not to mention the time it takes to load the cargo and sailing across the map. Also, that's if you're lucky and someone doesn't steal your cargo. What makes this method OP is that most of the guards are clumped up together while being low level. They also respawned so quickly that by the time you kill them in one area, the others will have respawned by then. You can even cheese the NPCs by climbing on top of a tower whenever your HP gets low. What if I told you with this method, you get things other than galleons too. There are plenty of chests that spawn there that nobody takes, so you'll be getting items too. It's two birds with one stone. Other methods like cargo only gives you galleons, but with this method, you can sell any useless items you get Get for even more galleons and use the useful items you get for yourself. But Thranos, if you're farming NPCs, why not Kai or Merlot? It's not bad, but NPCs don't respawn as often there and aren't clumped up as much. It's also riskier since Kai and Merlot are mini bosses. not to mention those are exploiter hotspots. The only downside to this method is that your level needs to be high. If your level is low, use the method in my previous guide which is still somewhat viable and less boring. I recommend doing both cargo and Fort Talos depending on your situation. For example, I wouldn't do cargo in a full server with a lot of aggressive or experienced players. Or if my ship is too small to carry a lot of cargo, try both methods and see what fits for you and your situation. Good luck with getting your brig and subscribe for more content like this.